Today is a great day because as you can see, we're having a party. And our fridge is stocked with all kinds of yummy food. So let's see if we can make some delicious dishes for our guests to enjoy. First, we'll need a few things from our cabinet. Let's start by grabbing our cutting board and knife so we can make a fruit bowl. Now, before we get started, it's always important to wash the fruit first. There, that should be enough. And now that our sink is full, we can add our first bunch of fruit. We want to make sure to scrub the fruit really well so we get all the dirt and grime off so that they're nice and clean when we go to eat them. That should be good. The first fruit that we're going to use is this bright red apple. We need to cut it into fourths, which means four pieces that are the same size. There we go. Banana. But you don't have to be a monkey to enjoy a banana. We'll cut this one in half, which means two equal pieces. Does anybody know what this is? It's a kiwi. Kiwis are a fuzzy brown fruit with delicious bright green insides. And take a look at all these seeds. Aren't they cute? Now we can add our first three fruits to our fruit bowl. We still need some more fruit, so let's go back to our fridge and pick out some tasty ones. These four will be nice, but first we have to clean them off. We'll make sure to get them nice and clean so they're delicious when we go to eat them. Lemon. Lemons can be really sour, so that's why we're mixing it in with a lot of other sweet fruits. Dragon fruit. If you've never had one before, the next time you go to the store, see if you can find one. They're really delicious. And check out how neat they are on the inside. Here's one we all know, a strawberry. If strawberries are too sour for you, you can try them with a little bit of sugar. Watermelon. Since this is a big fruit, we're gonna cut it into fourths again. That way we have four smaller pieces. And don't worry, if you swallow a seed, they won't grow inside you. Now let's add these newly cut fruit to our fruit bowl. We're almost done with our fruit bowl. We just need a few more and it'll be perfect. Let's see what we have in our fridge. And then to wash, wash, wash before we eat, eat, eat. All right, they're looking pretty good. First up, we have a pear. Pears taste a bit like apples, but they're a little softer and usually a bit sweeter. Let's cut this one into fourths. All right, there we go. Pineapple, a fruit that grows in tropical areas around the world. Let's cut our pineapple into thirds or three equal pieces. Let's add them in with the rest of our fruit. Now we can add our final ingredient, grapes. Now that our fruit bowl is done, we can work on our next item. I think we should use this blender to make a smoothie. Let's take this nice squishy orange and get some juice from it. Now, since I'm using a real knife, you definitely shouldn't try this at home. Only adults should use knives. Orange juice. We're gonna use orange juice in our smoothie. Watermelon. I'll carefully cut a hole so we can get the juice from it. There, that ought to do it. Watermelon juice. Wow, it's looking good. Purple grapes. Let's get some juice from them. Oops, we made a mess. That's okay though, messes happen. We still have plenty left over for our smoothie. Banana, or banana, as the minions say. Can you really juice a banana? Well, since we're playing make-believe, we can. All right, that should do it. Oh, more mess. Wow, look at all the colors of our smoothie so far. Even though it looks really nice, it's not real food, so we won't drink it for real. It's just pretend. Let's make some room for our last fruit. There we go. Strawberry. This looks like a really tasty one. Oh, 
Oh my goodness! That was my fault! Well, at least we have enough to add to our smoothie. Now let's turn the blender on and mix it all up. All right, that's our last fruit dish. Now let's get started on some vegetable ones. To do that, we'll need some pots from our kitchen cabinets. Hmm, this one looks good. There's one and two pots. Cauliflower. You only eat the white parts of cauliflower, so we're gonna peel the leaves off first. For this recipe, we only need half of it, so let's cut it into two pieces and use one in our pot. We'll save the second piece for another day. Cabbage. We'll peel the outer layer off and add the head of the cabbage to our pot. Corn. We husk corn by peeling the outer layers off, leaving us with the delicious golden kernels on the inside. Carrot. Not only are carrots delicious, but they also have tons of vitamin A, which is good for your eyes. We'll add two pieces to our second pot, and then we'll get rid of the stem. Bell pepper. Don't let the name fool you. These actually aren't spicy at all. Our recipe says we need two thirds, so that means two pieces go in the pot, and the third one is for later. Chive. A chive is a kind of onion. Onions give dishes great flavor, so we'll add the whole thing to the pot. Asparagus. I hated asparagus as a kid, but now as an adult, they're my favorite vegetable. And when you grow up, your tastes might change too. Mushroom. Not all mushrooms are edible, so you can only eat ones you find in the store. Eggplant. I hated eggplant as a kid, and now that I'm an adult, I, I still hate them actually. You don't have to like every vegetable. Tomato. Wanna know a secret? Tomatoes are actually fruit, but they taste like vegetables, so when you're talking about food, they still count as a vegetable. Purple onion. This onion looks really different from our chive onion, doesn't it? It's gonna be our last ingredient for this dish. Let's get one more pot. And here, we're gonna make a soup, starting with some noodles and carrots. And on top of those, we'll add a can of mushrooms. And finally, some beans and peas. Then we can add one cup of water. Once we mix it all up, our pots will be ready to cook. Now we can turn up the heat on our stove. Now we got one pot going. Here's for the second one and the third eye for our last pot. Let's add some salt for taste. And a little bit of pepper will be nice too. All right, that should be enough seasoning. Now let's make some meats in the oven. We have steak, pork chop, and a whole chicken. There, that should be enough. Now we just place them in the oven so we can cook them. We'll turn the oven to broil and put the heat on high. All right, now we just need to let our food cook. How's the food coming for the party? It's going well. We have a fruit bowl, some vegetable dishes, and some meats in the oven. What? What's wrong? Oh, ice cream. I forgot a snack. Every party needs a snack. Let me handle it. Oh, all right. One, two ice cream cones. All right. There we got vanilla. Um, all right, strawberry. Let's put it on a different little thing. Now we got mint, my favorite, chocolate. Wow, great job, Genevieve. Now I'll just check the other food. All right. It looks like our meats are done. But since the pan will be hot, we need to wear an oven mitt. Oh, wow, it looks so good. 
Now let's set it aside while we turn off the heat for our stove. Great, now we can turn the heat off for the oven as well. Now we just need to set the food before our guests arrive. Here's our platter of meat, our delicious fruit bowl, some veggies, our smoothie, some more veggies, our yummy soup, and of course, the ice cream. Wow, just look at all that delicious food we made. Hey, I think our guests are here. Just a minute. Hey, you guys are just in time. Come on in, the food's ready. So, how is everyone liking the food so far? It's so good. Yeah, everything's so tasty. Here, let me give you some more smoothie checks. Well, do you like the food socks? Uh, I'll take that as a yes. Wow, guys, it looks like our dinner party was a great success. If you enjoyed helping us cook the meals, give us a thumbs up. And we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.